Hey guys, I figured I'd do a quick video today on uh, a setting that I use pretty much on my cars when I go racing. That's helped me quite a bit. Um, it's it's probably old news to some. Uh, I just uh, a buddy of mine told me about it a few years ago to give it a try, and it's worked out really well for me since. I, I every car has this adjusted, and it's uh, the speed of the steering servo. Um, our servos now are. are you know, six hundredths of a second, eight hundredths of a second. The speed of our radios is the the reaction time is incredible. And in my opinion, after you're talking about it and, and thinking about it and feeling my car afterwards, um, it was so much smoother and easier to drive. Uh, if you think about your, your your wheels turning so fast, you know, I guess the best way to put it is imagine if you're driving your real car and you could whip your your steering left to right in 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 you know six hundredths of a second um if you had grip well you'd probably roll over which i guess some of us do um you know on high grip tracks but um it's also likely that it would just push you'd keep trucking straight ahead as the wheels turn so fast the chassis doesn't have time to, to react and, and to roll to shift weight left and right so i usually run about 85 to 90 percent uh steering speed and on, on the reach i'll have for my eight scale, for example, I have 85% steering speed and I have 90% return to center. I think that return to center is not as, as important as the full throw from right to left and back and forth. But I think, again, this is just all opinion and it, and it worked for me uh, running, whether it's been my touring car, uh, my 10 scale buggy, my eight scale buggy, it's worked really well. I think you gotta give the car time to react. You gotta give the suspension time to react so um give it a try it's not it's not expo it's not epa it's your steering speed and, and turn it down i mean because we're running these servos you know at high voltage and and, and they're, they're crazy time which is it's great to have that option um but but give it a try and, and give that chassis time to react and to roll um and I guess your self time too. Sometimes it's so quick, it's it's insane. And I, I think sometimes it's so quick that it'll initially cause a push. Um, so maybe it finally grabs or, or grabs a, a hole in the track or something to get get the car to pivot um, other than simple, you know, the mechanics of it. Um, again, this is just my opinion. It's something I've tried. Uh, but slow the steering servo down and, and see what you guys think. So um, I'm no pro. That's just my opinion. And it's worked for me. So maybe helps you guys out. Uh, let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you guys soon.